Good evening, everyone. Depending where you were in the Upper Peninsula today, yeah, the weather might have been okay, especially if you were in the southern half. So let's start there. Gladstone for the Great Northern Conference track meet. 400 meter relay and Menominee's Leonard Briggs will hold off Gladstone's Jared Buxton. Buxton had a pretty good day though. Second in the high jump and he won the shot put and discus. In the 110 hurdles, Tyler Harmon of Menominee defeats his teammate Brian Hines. They switch in the 300 hurdles. Now the 100 dash, Mark hits Alex Ganyu edges a couple of Menominee runners. Alex is on the right side of the screen. In the long jump, Gladstone's Justin Peterson set a new school record at 21 feet, seven inches. He also won the high jump. On the girls' side, it was Shayna Hubner easily in the 400 meter dash. And Lindsay Rudden captured her usual events, the 800 and 1600, and helped out on a relay. On the scoreboard, the Marquette girls won going away with 193, Escanaba second, Kingsford third. On the boys' side, it was Gladstone with Menominee second and Marquette third. On the scoreboard, the Mid-Peninsula Conference runners meet took place at Norway this afternoon. And on the girls' side, Nagani was the winner with 158. Ashley Veal won both hurdles, the 100 and 200. Manistique was second with 134. Holly Blowers won the 800, 1600, 3200, and anchored a winning 3200 relay. Gwynn was third. On the boys' side, Kenner Breuer won both hurdles and was on a winning relay for the winners from Manistique. Ryan Ramey also had a good day with a couple of victories on relays, and he won the 400. Nagani was second, Ishpeming third. Dan Coolis won the 1600 and 3200 for Iron Mountain. Let's stay with the Mid Peninsula Conference, change the sport to tennis. This is the second doubles final for Nagani. Anthony Moyle and Alex Roth win the point here. Iron Mountain's Henry Hakamaki and Danny Willman. And Danny Willie puts that one away. But Nagani bounced back to win this match 6-4 in the third. First singles final, Randy Mueller of Norway serving to Nagani's Cody Tusova. And Tusova came up with the shots once again today in the windy conditions. That nasty slice backhand, boy, that's hard to return with just about any shot. He won the match 6-love and 6-1. Nagani was the overall winner with 39 points. Iron Mountain was second. The Miners took four flights, three singles and one in doubles. On the scoreboard, the Great Northern Conference tennis meet was down in Kingsford. Andy Slivers won going away with seven of the eight flights and 38 points. Marquette was second, West Aaron County third. The Slivers' Caleb Harrington captured the first singles title over Gladstone's Aaron Parmet, 6-3 and 6-love. Escanaba won the first doubles with Jake Easton and David Fix. Let's go to golf. Burr, hot chocolate, the drink of the day at the Wawatawan Golf Club. Say hello to Manistique's Josh Henschel and Iron Mountain's Austin Blomquist. Norway's Mike Zeig with a nice putt here. Did I mention it was snowing over at Wawatawan today? Yes, I probably will sooner or later. Blomquist would get the putt for par. He had an 87 on the day and tied for seventh. Temperature when I arrived just afternoon at Wawanawan, ooh, a whopping 37 degrees. And that does not count uh, Carl Bonak's least favorite stat, or one of them, the wind chill. That's Gwyn's Matt Moylan and with the approach there. Hiding behind the tree is Trevor Burt, and he's from Westwood, and he makes a nice chip, and he would save uh, par after sinking that putt. He was 10th with a 90. That was the 10th hole. Let's go to the 4th, Iron Mountain's Caitlin Johnson with a tee shot that I think she would find to be quite satisfactory. She was the medalist today with a 97. Norway's Shelby Matanich with the chip. She came in fourth place. On the board here, Norway your winner with 344. Eight shots better than Nagani, 12 shots better than Iron Mountain. Norway's Austin Hansen, who you see putting right there, was the medalist with a 79. Nagani's David Rinaldi and Andrew Katona were second with 83s. On the girls' side, Iron Mountain wins going away with Manistique second and Westwood third. Haley Hoholik of Manistique was the runner-up. Great Northern Conference meet was at Escanaba. And let's take a look at those results. Marquette the winner, nine shots better than Escanaba, 20 shots better than Gladstone. Marquette's Jordan Frazier, again, the medalist, a 75. Gladstone's Adam Sheenaman and Marquette's Brett Specker tied for second with 79s. On the girls' side, Escanaba easily, Marquette second, Gladstone third. Marquette's Avery Rochester, the medalist with an 87. Escanaba's Kelsey Mata was second with an 89. Gladstone's Callie Jensen third with a 90. The Resort and Casino Championship at Sweetgrass is coming back. Part, part of the Symmetra Tour and Road to the LPGA. 
It held its third annual media day today in Harris. Stephanie Knoyer was the featured golfer. She competed in the 2009 U.S. Open as an amateur. She's currently appearing on the Golf Channel's Big Break Mexico. She spoke about the pressure of playing on national TV. I've played for crowds before, and this was, I've never felt my hands physically shake before <laughs> until I got to Mexico. But it was also a lot of fun and a great experience for me to be able to draw on later in my career when I might have a putt to win a tournament and my hands are shaking and I can say, okay, I've been here before. I know how to calm myself down. I know exactly what to do here. Members of the media were able to talk to her about life as a golfer before enjoying lunch and a chance to hit the links. 144 golfers from 30 countries and 40 states will compete in this year's 54-hole tournament. It will take place June 28th through June 30th. Of course, there will be activities all week long. Nagani defeated Glenn 17-2 and 19-4. Escanaba swept Marquette 13-3 and 12-2. Braden Vasilva took Grand Slam for the Eskimos. Rapid River took two from Munising, 7-0 and 19-9. Kendall Miller had a Grand Slam for the Rockets. In baseball, it was Norway 11 and Stevenson 2. And in Legion baseball this evening, uh, the Marquette Blues got 4 for 4 from Ryan Hansen with 6 RBI. And the Blues defeated Gladstone 15 to 4. And don't forget, all kinds of information is available on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. The Tigers are starting to play a little bit better now. They had a rain delay tonight against the Twins. That one is tied at sixth in six, I should say, in the eighth inning. And Denny Hamlin broke the track record today, more than 195 and a half miles per hour to qualify for the pole on the Coca-Cola 600 Sunday at the Charlotte Motor Speedway.